leadership for both parties, you know, teachers are taking a hit, and uh, it's it's affected the morale of the profession. It's affected um, obviously people's desire to enter into the career field as well. As you can see, there's been a significant dip, 12 percent dip in people enrolling in education programs throughout the UNC system. So we have to make sure we're replenishing that pipeline and that teachers are being grown, they're being groomed, and furthermore, that they're, that they're staying. And a large part of that is uh, teacher pay. Uh, I, I don't want to oversimplify the situation, uh, but I think that uh, naturally people operate in their own self-interest, right? They want to make sure that they can provide a, a living for themselves. Uh, that's part of the impetus behind that. But secondly, it's because teachers are so critically important. All the data suggests that the, the, the effect that teachers have on, on students uh, is probably the most important factor in their achievement. And so in order to attract people to this profession, in order to make sure that the bottom line being the students is positively affected, we're going to have to raise the luster, raise the stature of, of the teaching position and make it a viable career, one that is attractive, one that's appealing to, to younger folk. Um, but in addition to that, money, money doesn't solve everything, right? So education spending in general, make sure that the resources are alloc alloc allocated in an equitable way. Uh, there are still populations uh, throughout North Carolina that depending on whether it's low wealth or high wealth, depending on uh, the racial, ethnic uh, background, uh, are at a decided disadvantage. And uh, we have to, we're going to have to make sure we allocate the resources to those populations, that we target those areas, and there are a lot of ways that were mentioned before where that can be done, even if it's incenting teachers to come to those areas, right, those who have the greatest skill sets, whatever it takes place, we need to make sure we're making good on our commitment to make sure uh, that all students, no matter their background, locality, that they receive access to a quality public education. Uh, but I mean, things that things that affect kids uh, are the things that, like Eric mentioned, I think we should be focusing on. Teachers are a huge part of that. Uh, but those are some of the problematic things because anything that stands in the way of a teacher being able to do their job and do it effectively, I think those are areas of concern. Um, the mobility piece is huge. Um, I can tell you that there's only two pathways as it currently stands. You can either be a teacher or be an administrator. That's not very diverse. If you have mobility, the ability to capitalize on the social uh, skills and, and, and social capital that you bring to the, to the profession, I think that's something that, uh, number one, has a, has a positive bearing on the outcomes of kids. Two, it's something I'd like to take a crack at, and I know a bunch of other teachers would as well, knowing that there's various ways that you can take part in the process of education. So. Um, whether it's the multi-classroom leadership, the opportunity culture stuff that we've seen uh, that's being deployed in Project Live, that sort of outside of the box thinking is what's going to be necessary uh, in order to get the results we want and make sure that teachers are attracted to this profession and that they stay in place. So.